Hello, I am Ovi of OviDuran.com. Today we are going to take a look at how to test hard drive speeds using the Parkdale Speed Test Tool. If you have ever wondered how to make your computer a little faster, you have probably looked to improving your CPU uh, by buying a new one with a bigger cache, or maybe you have tried to add additional RAM or memory to your computer. Most people think this is the only thing that will make a computer much faster and most of the time it does really work. However, sometimes the real bottleneck on your system is really the hard drive. The hard drive tends to be overlooked most of the time and if it's, if it's slow, then your computer will not work very fast regardless of how much memory you put into it. The hard drive is probably the most important part on, in, in the computer and if it's not pushing and pulling your information very fast, then you will probably need a replacement. The size of the hard drive is not very important. It's the speed of the hard drive that is most critical. And this test will tell you if your hard drive speed is good or bad. Remember, the faster your hard drive operates, the faster your computer operates. The faster your computer will boot up, the faster you will be able to load programs, and the faster you will be able to do your work. Many times businesses or home users think they have to replace slow computers for new ones that are faster. Uh, this can be expensive. The easy solution is not to replace the computers, but to replace the hard drives instead, which will speed up the systems, making them more usable. So, when testing a hard drive, there are many software tools out there, but my favorite is the Parkdale speed test. I like it because it is portable and doesn't have to be installed on a system. It is an executable file that gives results in an easy to read format. If, uh, if you work for an IT company, the information given by Parkdale is, is easy to see and interpret, which is something your client or boss will appreciate. The system that I'm gonna test today is about four years old. So go to Google and type Parkdale speed test. And here is the website. It's uh, thez dot d i e c r u dot e u forward slash content forward slash Parkdale dot php. Scroll down a bit and click on download parkdale.zip. You can either open it or save it to your desktop and then extract it, but I've already done that, so we're gonna skip this test. Here's the icon. You can double click it. Now, the best way to start this is by clicking on the quick access on the top left, it's already there. Uh, quick access is a simple and easy to read format and it's the best way to go. Select the hard drive to test. I am going to select my C drive and then click on start. It's already on C drive. Before I click on start, uh, the file size here is how big a file you're going to use to test a hard drive with. You can leave it at 1000 megabytes. This is going to write to the hard drive and then read from the hard drive. The 1000 megabyte test will take about five minutes. If you choose a smaller number, uh, then it will take less time, but may not be as accurate. And I'm gonna choose 50 so the test uh, doesn't take as long and we can, uh, so the test will be over in about 15, 20 seconds. Uh, for the block size, choose the 64 kilobyte radio button, which is the Windows default. And then you can click on start. It does the uh, sequential write, then the sequential read. The sequential write means how fast the drive can write to the hard drive in one contiguous block, or say a single uh, large file. The sequential read is a measure of how quickly large files can be read from the hard drive. Uh, these are the two numbers that I normally look 
to determine if the hard drive is, is good enough. I've already done a test with a newer computer that I bought three months ago, and here is the comparison. Both computers have SATA hard drives and, ru and run at 7200 RPMs, but one is four years old and the other one's just three months old. Now, if, the, if uh, any of these drives were 10,000 RPMs, then the test figures will probably be at 125 or so for write speeds. But if, uh, if this were a solid state drive, then the write speed would definitely be over 150 and the read speeds over 200 and as you can see my older computer the uh, sequential write speed is at 92 uh, which isn't too bad and my sequential read speed is at 115 uh, compared to my newer computer sequential write speed is at 106 sequential read speed is at 2 212 I may need to replace this hard drive soon uh, probably for a 10,000 RPM drive and my speeds will probably jump to 125, 130 or so. So an IT guy can use this information to show a boss or a client why installing a newer hard drive would be better and make any computer run faster. Sometimes it's much more economical to replace the hard drive for a couple of hundred dollars than it is to replace the entire computer which may cost a thousand dollars or more. If you found this video useful please click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.